Okay, Gemini gang. Happy Saturday, guys. All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates in your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. The tarot courses are also in the description box. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on. True love, Gemini's. Mm-hmm. Chemistry. Mm-hmm. Wedding. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and unrequited loves on the bottom. All right. So, let's see what's going on. <laughs> with you Gemini's again hit that like Gemini's greatly appreciated so let's see what's happening the strength card okay very strong bond you have with someone Gemini's ah despite what you uh, are going through eight of cups mm. interesting Gemini so this eight of cups is walking away from the strength card so this makes me wonder the sun cards on the bottom heavy Leo so far so this makes me wonder, Gemini's, are you walking away from a connection? Or are you walking away from someone you feel like might be your true love? Knight of Swords, oh, they're not going to let that happen, though. <laughs> no sirree, Bob. No, you could be dealing with another Gemini, a Virgo, with the magician on the bottom. Yeah, no. Whoever this is, Gemini's is not going to is not going for that. Um, I do feel like you're trying to get away from somebody, Gemini's. Or you're emotionally detaching from someone. But they're not they're not no. Could be a Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So here's what's interesting. Almost every reading when this unrequited love card comes out, there's a pentacle card that comes up under it. So this makes me wonder, Gemini's, again, what I get for you guys a lot, if this person feels like they're not good enough for you. Someone feels like they're not worthy of you or they, someone puts you on a pedestal or they see you as like doing better than them, like in a better position than them. Um, Gemini, even if that's not true, I feel like they just see you that way, um, Gemini's, but it's it's not going to keep them from, it's not going to keep them away from you, but I feel like they need to work on this, like they need to work on their, uh, their self-worth issues, um, Gemini's, but this could also be this Eight of Cups, someone needed to walk away from something, um, Gemini's, and it could very well be you know, insecurities and self-doubts and things like that. Same thing I picked up in the other reading that I did for you guys. Also, that other reading I did the other day finally went up. I think it went up at like 11 or 12 last night. So I don't know why it was taking so long to load. I even deleted it and reloaded it. So Spirit said that's the time it was supposed to go up. So, hey, Four of Cups, yes. <laughs> So, yeah, Gemini's, you are either you're rejecting someone or, again, I feel heavily like someone feels like you are rejecting them, Gemini's. Someone here is feeling rejected. I saw the three of wands on the bottom, so, again, I've been seeing that a lot for you. Like someone waiting on you to like make a move or waiting on you to contact, uh, waiting to hear from you, uh, Gemini's. And I feel like it's not happening. Ooh, well, the death card. Now, it doesn't mean that, that it's ending, Gemini's, but, uh, well, I feel like, Gemini's, you are basically done with someone. At least for right now. <laughs> yeah. But the death card can also be a change or a transformation. But again, what I get is with this eight of cups over the death card, someone is needing to end something in order to have this connection. And I feel for a lot of you, it's a self-esteem thing with this strength card here in the four of cups. Someone needs to work on their worthiness. Someone may also have an abandonment issue. Oh! And the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Yes, someone has an abandonment issue too, Gemini's. 
It's like someone is really trapped in, in their trauma. Like someone is needing to walk away from something. Someone's needing to release something. With the Eight of Cups, it's something emotionally. I feel like this is, has to do with something that has to do with the trauma, uh, Gemini's. Like I said, I feel like someone isn't, they're not uh, secure. They may not be stable. Um, they may have a lot of um, traumas and things that they deal with. They have a lot of baggage and things that they deal with. This could easily be you have basically, um, you know, walked away from someone or, or, um, yeah, the hangman. Someone's seeing something differently. Oh, yeah. The king of pentacles on the bottom. So we're seeing the king and the queen plus the ten of pentacles. So it's almost as if this person is wanting to, uh, get on your level, Gemini's. But I feel like with the hangman and the knight of swords, it's like, um, Someone is getting a different perspective or someone is wanting you to get a different perspective on the whole situation. Gemini's. That's the vibe I'm getting. But I'm also getting too that this person could have been feeling stuck or they're feeling stuck right now. Mm, but they're going to get out of it pretty quickly. The Knight of Swords again, you guys. If they've been stuck, they're going to get out of that shit real fast um, because they have to. The sun on the bottom. Yeah. In order to be with you. We, we just saw this. We saw the sun here in that deck. The sun and the ten of pentacles is probably some of the best energy you can get. Gemini's. Um, in a reading. But I feel like something has to end first. And I feel. Take it how it resonates Gemini's. But what I'm seeing. This is something emotional. But also. Some of you are emotionally detaching from this situation. And from this person. Um, Gemini's and I feel like this this person is is it's like giving this person this this drive and determination now to fix it because time I feel like time is they feel like time's running out this is what I'm hearing um, Gemini's and again I feel like this there's a knight under this queen so again this person sees you as above them in some way Gemini's like I said doing better than them um, you know, m more mature than them. Uh, you know, you handle things better. Your life might be in a better space than, than theirs is. Um, Gemini's, and I feel like they may have let their insecurities take over uh, the connection. So this person is having to leave something behind. But also, I feel like, Gemini's, you are in the process of leaving them behind, detaching from them in this whole situation but this person isn't as confident as they at confidence they're not they're not as confident as they uh <laughs> the hangman what the fuck did i tell you they're not as confident as they get uh, they lead on gemini's five of cups on the bottom yeah someone is needing to learn how to surrender to the knight of swords again gemini's when I tell you this person's coming towards you, there's a massive sense of urgency with this connection. We're seeing this three times from three different decks. And this is the fastest night in the deck, Gemini's. There's a sense of urgency here. Actually, right now, I'm like shaking my leg. Y'all know when people have like restless leg syndrome? Like right now, I'm bouncing my legs. It's like somebody's feeling super anxious to talk to you. Like, I gotta talk to Gemini. I gotta clear this up. And I feel like when they come towards you, the Eight of Cups again. Listen, boy, oh boy, I can't make it up. Someone's trying to keep you from leaving. Someone's trying to keep you from detaching from them. Gemini's. And like I said, I feel heavily like someone is seeing something in a different way. Someone's seeing that their insecurities, whoa, cars went everywhere, that their insecurities are playing a really big role in the, the downfall of this connection, Gemini's. So as, I'm not going to take all these, but um, 
the Empress. So, okay, I'll take the Empress since it fell out. Um, the Empress, yeah, the Five of Cups. I'm seeing the Knight of uh, Knight of Wands. So you might be dealing with a Libra, uh, Capricorn, Heavy Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, um, Chariot. Can't could be a Cancer, it's Pisces. I see all kind of people, uh, Gemini's. So yeah. So for some of you Gemini's, this person could be walking away from a person. Could also be a, a family member or mother figure, because they might be because the Empress can be a mother figure as well. So like this person might have like a very metally mother. Gemini's could be a Sagittarius with this Knight of Wands that they're needing to walk away from. Uh, Gemini's or they're just their family in general. Yep, four of wands. I told you they might pop up at your house. Yep, they might pop up at your house. But I also feel like a lot of you Gemini's are moving, like you're you're moving somewhere else, um, and you won't be as accessible to this person, um, Gemini's, or or something is urging you to uh, move. I told you, Gemini's. Yep, the world. This person wants to reconcile with you. Despite feeling like you've lost interest because it's, like I said, this person can feel your detachment. The chariot, yeah. Because this can be either this person needing to walk away from another, a whole other partner. Um, walk away from a, a, a mother or a parental figure. Or this is you walking away from them. Gemini's with the fool on the bottom to start something new Gemini's I feel like you're kind of tired of the same old same old from this person and rightfully so um, but I feel like for a lot of you this person's going to pop up at your house yep they may even be driving by your house looking to see who's out there um, yeah but they want to reconcile Gemini's they want to talk to you and like I said I'm feeling very nervous right now I'm feeling very anxious right now and I'm feeling like a sense of urgency right now and I've gotten this for you guys before like um, it's it's like this person is feel can kind of feel like they're losing you this this is what I'm getting they're, they're losing their grip on you this which is kind of a good thing <laughs> in a way Gemini's but yeah, this person can feel that they're they're losing their grip on you. They're, the connection is, is kind of fading, um, you know, because of their, their fuckery. Gemini, this person doesn't like to open up. They don't like to show themselves. Uh, they're not honest. They're not totally honest about what they have going on, you know. Um, for some of you, they could have been in a whole other situation, like a whole other connection. I know that's not going to resonate with all of you. Yeah, Gemini's. So I'm not going to pull handwritten today, but I'm going to um, pull from this Twin Flame Oracle deck. Um, and there's a lot of cards here. And here's what's interesting. I shuffled these cards maybe 10 times, you guys. And this same card kept coming up on top. The, it says 11, it's 11-11 on there. And then it says we are coming into union on there. If y'all can see that. Probably not, but yeah. And the Four of Wands is also has the Four of Wands is also the eleven eleven card, which is the soulmate marriage, which is very interesting that is coming up under wedding. Because this person f sees marriage with you, they see you as their soulmate, Gemini's. Yeah. Also, feel like too, Gemini's. If this person has like children with someone, that person might have hurt them, and they they're needing to leave that hurt behind. So if this person has gotten hurt by somebody in the past, someone they were married to, someone they have children with, they're needing to leave that hurt in the past because I feel like they've been bringing that into y'all's connection and it's fucking things up. Let's get a few of these. This is my first time using these on, on video. So, so I'll take these since they fell out all the way on the other side of the table. Ooh, I'll take, ooh, damn. Okay, I'll take these. 
and whatever else flipped over. I will take these and let me get one more. Okay, I said one more spirit. I'll take the top one. Okay, and I'll take that one too. And in the bottom of the deck, it says, I feel abandoned. And then number nine on top, I feel abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. Yeah, Gemini's. That's the strength card here too. And that could also be you. Like you feel abandoned by this person. But you can definitely, um, the eight of cups can be about abandoning someone, abandoning a situation. And I told you earlier, you guys, that this person had abandonment issues. Fuck, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so this is what came out, okay? So we're seeing 11 again. And it says, I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean. So that could be you or that could be um, your person. Eight, it says, I'm trying to understand how I create my reality. I know I need to stay positive. Are you? Gemini's, are you staying positive? Mm-hmm. Okay, so eight. Always pay attention to the numbers, you guys. And then it says, I'm going through a dark night of the soul. So we picked that up in the last reading. Nothing in my life is making sense. Oh, yes, Gemini's. They're, they're going through some shit. This one is seven. Okay. And it says, one of us is sad or angry and is creating an energetic match in frequency with the other. Mm-hmm. Stay conscious of this. And if possible, try to help us elevate. Okay, so whoever that resonates with. Okay, so this one is six, which is the lovers in the tarot. And it says, as twin flames, we are here to ascend and help others to do the same. Okay, and then number one, we are one. Don't let fear get in the way of this truth. Okay, so nine again. And it says, don't judge just surrender that's that hangman here two times like i said i feel like i feel a surrendering energy but i also feel like this person is learning to put themselves in other people's shoes um or see it from your point of view or they're wanting you to do that don't judge just don't judge this just surrender i know it's triggering but from a higher perspective it's clearing energy and bringing us closer Y'all yeah, can see that, which y'all probably can't. So, yeah, Gemini's, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.